Fun fact. In Smash Ultimate, the opponent is not doing what you want them to do. This might sound obvious, but I see too many people go for outlandish reads without having conditioned the opponent or given the opponent any reason to go for that sort of option. In fact, many people are careful to do the options you least want them to do. This is where intimidation comes in. Intimidation is the fear that you put in your opponent to make them do what you want. One of my favorite examples of the effectiveness of intimidation is Smash 4 Cloud Limit. Whenever he got it, I'd always see Smash 4 Cloud players just basically get to get the infinite ledge traps that you sometimes saw with Tweak, or those just crazy air dodge reads that really they didn't have to do that much for. Their opponents were just really scared of Limit, Cross Slash, so they kind of just air dodged every single time. Off the ledge of stage, possibly try to punish, but there's a soft needle sending a message. Let them know that next one might connect. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Game up the air dot. It's funny because we always talk about don't give up. And the air they got the cross slash anyway. Exhibit A. In this situation, Palutena and Donkey Kong are in these relative positions. Now, right here, Palutena has two options jump facing forward and threaten fair or an air, or jump facing backwards threatening back air. Let's see what happens in these situations. Alright, that was a pretty niche example, so let's move on to a more obvious one. I'm Palutena, and my opponent is shielding in the corner. He's at kill percent, and it's last stock, last hit. Uh, just try to imagine. He has several options. Spot dodge, jump, roll, hold shields, or do any attack out of shield. Him, being a smart player, realizes that the only way he's guaranteed not to die here is to hold shield. The spot dodge can be punished with good timing, the jump can be stuffed, the roll is predictable and extremely punishable, and the attack out of shield can be baited and punished. However, if he holds shield, I have no way of killing him as Palutena. I do know that shield pressure exists, and Palutena does have some safe shield pressure, but one, that's not a direct way of killing, and two, that's not the topic of the video. Plus, the most commonly safe shield pressure is aerials, but if you start going air to air, you stop doing the ground to ground fight where you have a clear advantage, and just go to whoever has better aerials. Me, also being a good player who realizes this, goes for the grab, which I can get. And a little side note, at a high level of play, this grab may not work due to the opponent realizing the same things as you and knowing there's a high chance of you going for this grab. Anyway, at a lower level, it shouldn't matter. I grab and then I forward throw him. And at this point, there's a lot that could happen. I could get an edge guard or lead trap and win. But the main point is that because I threatened everything I can do, I was put in an even more favorable position than before. I know there are obviously many nuances to this, but you get the idea. Intimidation is a very valuable concept that allows you to find so many openings that wouldn't have appeared otherwise. Plus, if you condition the opponent to expect intimidation rather than action, you can catch them off guard with an immediate attack. So let's sum this up. In order for the opponent to do what you want them to do, you're going to have to give them a reason or intimidate them into doing that option. Two. What you intimidate your opponent with will vary from character to character. If you have really strong aerials, you're probably going to get a lot out of clearing your opponent in the air, and if you have really strong ground normals, you're probably going to get a lot of mileage out of scaring your opponent on the ground into doing some stupid rolls or spot dodges. And as a final note, a lot of characters that have stuff like Samus's charge shot, which is strong and unreactable, will get a lot of mileage out of people doing stupid stuff after whiffing because they're afraid of getting charge shotted. At the end of the day, the main idea is just to use your character's threatening options to try to get your opponent to do what you want. Well, thank you for watching all the way through. If you enjoyed, please remember to like or subscribe or both. And if you subscribe, please hit the notification bell. I really appreciate you watching the whole way through again and have a great day. Peace.